Okay, so in this video, we will be continuing work on our Chevrolet Camaro 1968. So, before we start any serious modeling, we're going to uh, fix quite a few of these vertices because they are not in their proper positions. So, firstly, because we're going to be doing this front grill area and this back bumper area, we need to we need to uh, fix up the positioning of these. This is not right, so let's move it up on the X. Hopefully about there. This probably should go about there. This needs to move about there too. And if we go into wireframe, this isn't even in the correct position, this line right here. This should be over here. this one. Alright. And this should have this should be up there. And other than that, I don't think there's anything much on the front that needs to be done. Ooh, no. We do need to move these back into their position. For some reason, these keep moving out of position. And it's most irritating. Also, also, yeah, this is this is another thing that we need to do. We need to move all of these vertices much farther up than they are now. Because, see this line right here that continues and then blends into that, the other line up there? That is where all of these vertices should be. So, yeah, that's, that's way more like it. Okay, so... I was looking through some reference images. See this grill? Let's actually, let's find a better image of it. Yeah, so, what it is, is that it's almost like a plane. It's almost like some, it's almost like we could just fill in this, fill in this area, sorry. Uh, fill in these, fill in this area, and then, um, just push back, uh, this two sides here. But it's, I think it's a bit more complicated than that. And also, we do need to make this, well, good grief, how do I, how do I go back? Oh, there we go. We need to make this bottom section right here. So let's just first make that bottom section because that's probably going to be the easier part. So E and then G along the X axis. No, there, that's it. Pretty easy. Actually, no, we do, we do need to move it up on the Y. Yeah, then that's it. Looking pretty nice, although I think we should move that back just a little bit so that it matches. So, oh yeah, you might you might notice I have already moved these vertices uh, forward because I was doing a bit of prep. I must have forgotten to move these back. So what? So for most of you, these vertices right here are probably around here. Just move them forward uh, into this position and. This, this model is pretty deceptive. So what I initially thought is that this here, this was a, this, this, this black line right here, these two black lines that make like these rectangles. I thought that was um, a plate on the, on the good grief. Okay, sorry, my uh, Siri just went off. I thought this was almost like a plate on the car, but it's not actually, it's just, it's just paint. And if we go look through, yeah, here, this image, this image, it's not very clear, but it just shows that it's just paint. So I don't know why these guys, these blueprint guys would actually uh, put paint on the, on the blueprint, but, you know, whatever. So we're not actually going to be putting that there. We're just going to go forward with it. And this, this curve isn't entirely accurate either. Let's take a look here. Yeah, this one, this is pretty good. It's, it's like a rectangle. It's just a rectangle. There, it, there's no curve going backwards like that. It's just straight down. Well, nearly straight. See? Straight down. No no, no curving back. So, just straighten this up. And actually, I need to move these two up. And then, what we're going to do is... How to best approach this? Okay, well, first off, let's... Let's hide all of these back vertices. Or there's vertices towards the back of the car because that is going to be a pain to look through. So 
So just H to hide. And we can just press Alt H to unhide. H, Alt H, H, Alt H. So let's just hide that. There we go, much clearer. So, so this grill looks pretty simple at first sight, but I think that is a bit deceptive. So, what we're going to do, what to do, what to do. Hmm. I think we're going to create a loop cut right here so that these this matches perfectly. Yeah, so. And then we're going to stretch these five vertices across. So in order to make just five, my five loop cuts on something, for instance here, just roll, uh, scroll up on your mouse. And I don't think that'll show on this uh, screencast, so I'll just say it out loud. Just roll, uh, scroll up on your mouse, and there we go. There's five vertices right there. Five vertices right there. Five vertices right there. Very nice. So we just gonna go. We're just gonna go fill these in. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And you might notice the problem already. That's that's gonna leave us with a triangle, right? So how do we go about and fix that? Well, when we when I fill in this section here, you will understand. Actually this section is gonna be perfect, so <laughs> What we need to do is um, basically just create a loop cut down this line right here. And actually, before we do that, we have to unhide all of this. That way we, the loop cut extends throughout the entire chassis. And then we're going to just hide that all over again. And you may be wondering, why keep a loop cut over there? And let me demonstrate. So we're going to delete this edge right here. And we're just going to fill that in. Or so I thought. Did I did I mess up? Uh, I think I put it on the wrong I put I put that loop cut on the wrong side. Yeah, it needs to the loop cut needs to be here. What am I thinking? Yeah, loop cut there. Okay. Now now we have some more problems. Okay, sorry, give me a sec, I'll just try editing this out. Or, that was short enough so that we don't even need to edit that out. I really dislike using Premiere Pro, so that's a, that's a relief to me. Or any video software for that matter. It just it lowers the resolution of the video, and it doesn't. It, it just it's it's a real pain to work with sometimes. So I'm very glad that that pause wasn't too long. So we're gonna fill in all of that. There, now you might be thinking, oh, well, we're done. That's the end of the video. Well, it's not the end of the video because we need to do the back section, and this is not even done. So, ooh, let me just hide that. forgot to hide that again. All right, so if we take a look at these wonderful reference images, sure, it looks like it's a plane from here, but then there's these two divots, and then it's a wedge that comes out of that hole right there. So... What we are going to do, what we are going to do is, is a very interesting maneuver. Um, we're going to, oh no, we're going to just select all of these. Maybe not, maybe not select all of those. Yeah, okay, never mind, revert back to what I was originally going to do. So. 
we're going to select all of these instead. We don't want to select any of these outer sections, we just want to select those. And not even that. And we're going to press E, and then come over to the left hand side, or the right hand side of the car. This is the left hand side of the car. And we're going to move this backwards. So G, and then Y. Oh, did I forget a vertice? Wait, what? What? Where is that coming from? Okay, I'm just going to delete that because that's some extraneous stuff that I've created by accident. Wait a minute. Did I duplicate an entire le loop cut? No, I didn't duplicate it. Oh my goodness, I'm so sorry, you guys. This is this is turning into a very long, long video because of all my silly mistakes. Okay, you know we're just gonna we're gonna have to patch that up. This is this is most unfortunate that that had to happen. Don't tell me any of these have it too, right? Good grief, what what happened? Did I Oh no, this is from me extend not extending the Ayo, this whole thing is broken now. Okay, we're gonna just control Z a bunch back to the point of the original disaster. This is where a disaster struck. Okay. Now Yeah. So there's an extra face right here. You can tell that because the transparency is is uh, it's, it's it's more it's, it's more opaque right there. So we're going to select this extra face, and we're going to delete the vertices there. Now you may be thinking, well, why did you just delete all those vertices? Yeah, I think we've gotten rid of all those extras. So just control right click right there. Control. This doesn't have any extras either, right? Okay. Control. Right click. Right there. Right, wrong side. Control. Control. Right click. Right there. And then just move that into there. So now there's no clipping. Or there is clipping. And then fill in. That'll make a triangle, which we don't want at all. So. <laughs> This is a pretty important lesson, how to fix some mistakes you've made in your uh, edge loops and vertices. If you notice a mistake, try going back to the point where, try going as far back as possible uh, from before, and if you can't go that far back, because I, I know that Blender doesn't allow you to go too far with undoing, you're, you're just going to have to delete that entire section and um, reconstruct it and it usually isn't that bad like this this wasn't that bad it's but it's a good lesson to show you should you should be careful you should remember what you're doing and be mindful of what you're doing don't create any extra unnecessary stuff yeah okay back to normal and so what were we doing yes we were selecting these No, not those. And we're gonna just E and then G on the Y axis. And there, no no silly problems there. And that way we have this wedge that goes in and out properly. Although it's a bit more pronounced if you yeah, it's definitely more pronounced throughout this entire section right here. So we're gonna move this up on the Y. Yes, very nice. Very, very nice. All right. However, however, I'm just going to quickly undo that because I did notice something that would have actually made this a bit easier for us. Um... 
Now oh, let's do that again. You may be wondering why I just did that. Well, let me explain once I just redo that. Alright, so you may be wondering why I just did that. Let's go back to this image right here. Not this image. Here, yeah, this is a good image. This headlight is situated on on a, on a platform almost on uh, on this plane. It's on like this this type of square rectangle area, and it will actually be much easier to model if we if we have um, if we can make it circular. This area more circular. But I think we're not going to do that today because that that will be a bit tricky because we're gonna have to incorporate a cylinder into there and that that's gonna be a bit of a pain so I think for now this nice bevel here is good and I think this is already taking too much time so we're just going to quickly do this back section and then I will we will end the video back section will be much easier there's no there's no bevel or no bezel or anything like that select this entire front area and we're going to hide the front area this time and let us ooh yeah okay so there's one more thing I wanted to talk about so blueprints aren't always completely accurate right let's take a look at this so this is basically spot on okay we move this there this is complete this is right on that line right so but if we look at if we look at the back view this same line is not it's not even close to touching there. So it's you, you're never going to get it perfect uh, with these uh, blueprints. So you just got to go work off work with what you've got. So in this case it's not it's not perfect. So we're just going to leave it the way it is on the side view because the side view is much easier to reference. And we're going to select these uh, these vertices. Yeah, all of those, and we're going to extrude them. Or, oh no, Just, we're going to press E and then G and then X to move it along the X axis. And notice how we're going to get a triangle here if we don't be careful. Well, let's be careful. Let's make a loop cut right there, and right there. Very nice. And one more, one more face right there. Yes, that. That is basically the back, right there. Done. And let's let me see where how we are on time. 18 minutes. I think we can cut it at 20 minutes. It's a pretty long video, but y y we had to get some stuff done, some stuff cleared up. So, um, I want to fix a few more things because, yeah, this 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 uh, this is not right. But that's very easy to fix. Just GG, and then like that. Yeah, there you go. That's fixed. And uh, let's select this loop cut, move it right there, and we can. Are we gonna need another loop cut there? Looks like we're gonna need two loop cuts because. So. Yeah, this is starting to become a bit vertice. -y. This is gonna start. Not what am I saying? This is starting to become pretty heavy on vertices. So I, I don't. Yeah, I don't want that to happen. So what we're gonna do actually is we're just going to move these ones this way. Or I'm going to move all of those this way, and all the way over there. Maybe move that a bit more. That way it doesn't look too awkward, and we're gonna fill there. Notice how there's two vertices that we need to match up on this side, so control R, and then sc uh, scroll up to put two vertices, and let's just fill those in quickly. And there we go. That is, that is looking really sporty. Very nice, very nice. And if we go into a rendered mode, all oh, right, I deleted the s positional light, so let's just go into look dev. Yeah, you got that shadow of, created by the bezel, and now we have these window frame created. And we're nearly done with the low poly side of things. 
uh, we're just going to be wrapping this uh, whole low poly uh, bit in the next video and then we're going to work on some more detail because yeah we, we really need to get uh, some detail on this it's looking pretty bland right now and um, I think that'll be it for this video uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one